hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl chelsea today i'm devouring some good old mexican food why am i just realizing that i barely ever do any mexican food mukbangs an authentic little small business little mexican restaurant today is the day and i've been doing this for a while so i don't know how i've just actually i've done like tamale tamale kitchen but i feel like this is just more authentic mexican food so when it comes in this bag you guys know it's gonna be good so I went to this place called the Papusas Lovers. When I've tried them in Cali, they were just chef's kiss, so delicious. And I'm excited to see if the ones here are as good or even similar. So let's get into it. It's really hot and really fresh. So I was like, let me drive to a different spot so it can, so it has time to cool down. Um, and then I just got a little water. Got a pork tamale, which you guys, I know it's gonna be so messy, like look. Oh, it looks so good, you guys. This is like the best breading. That just looks freaking good. Like, ooh, I already know it's gonna be amazing. Honestly, it looks just as good as the one I've tried in Cali, so. And it's piping hot, so I'm nervous. But, so I got that, my tamale, which again, we're gonna have to be very careful with. And then they gave me a fork, thank you still got some good stuff in here so i love this like little i think it's like cabbage mix that they give you at some mexican restaurants it's so good and then i'll probably put this on everything red sauce he probably assumed i like spicy because i was like oh is there a sauce in there he's all you like spicy mall kind of and he just kind of like <laughs> and like walked away so i'm like oh well should ask for green sauce but okay I'm like stalling because I'm scared it's gonna burn my little tongue. So let's do a thumbnail, I guess, while I wait. Woo! That's hot. My hand is burning. Okay. Well, that's good enough. My fingers are already greasy just from holding that, so you know it's good. All right. I gotta try this, you guys. This is like super exciting. I don't think I've. Oh, that. that might have to be the thumbnail. Look at this. It looks like Pac Man. That looks so good. Okay. Whew. Burning my fingers doing this. Let's just try a little bite here. Ooh, look at that cheese pole. Mm. Mm. That is good. Oh my God. So good. So good. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a tortilla and cheese. Like, I didn't even get any meat in that bite, but. Oh. Oh my God. I'll be back. I'll be back. They better get used to this face, because I'll be back. Wow. That is good. One napkin they gave me. And try to open this. Also. It's sprinkling, so it's a whole vibe. My last mukbang is sprinkling too, so it's been raining a lot here lately, like every day. Not bad, but just like light rain. But I love it, especially in mukbangs. Okay. Oh lord, I'm nervous. And I even asked him which tamale was better, the chicken or the pork. He said pork. So I always ask recommendations, like most places I go, especially if it's something I've never tried. Mm. That's good. It's got a little kick to it, too. Okay. Unraveling this disaster mess. How is this so... Oh, my God. I got scared. I was like, what in the world? Okay, this tamale looks kind of funky. What the heck? I know I said it was in a banana pill, but I forgot about that. So, look at this. This, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This looks a little janky. This tamale doesn't look real, like a normal tamale. Not even the banana peel, but like the, um, what is that even called? I forgot. Like that breading is weird. It's like, it looks like gooey, like it wasn't cooked or something. Like, look, it's literally falling apart. I mean, I hope it's better than it looks, cause. 
yeah that's honestly like kind of the weirdest looking tamale i've ever seen oh wow there's like what the heck there's some type of like sauce in there i don't know It's not bad, but like, what is that? It's like very like gooey. Again, like it's not cooked or something long enough. I don't know what that is. It like dissolves in your mouth. I don't like that. I like it when it's like thick and bite. you bite into it. This is like literally like, I don't like the outer part. I don't like that texture. It's literally like you're just, it's like soggy rice. The pork is good, but I don't know what the heck is going on with this. Yeah, that's a no go for me. I'll be sticking with papooses. Like, this is some good stuff. I'll try the sauce. I'm just like, how are you supposed to open this without making a mess? I'm going to try to poke a hole with my fork and maybe just squirt it out. That seems to be the smartest way. So you kind of just, um, <gasps> as I spill it all over the place. Oh my God. All right. Mm. Wait a minute. Let me get up in that sauce. I didn't even taste a difference. It's not even spicy. Hold on. That sauce is good. It's like barely any spice to it at all. Hmm. Okay, not bad. Maybe he just looked at me and he's like, you don't like spicy. I'm gonna give you the mild. Okay, this seems to have like chili in it or something, or what the heck is that, a green bean? These are the weirdest tamales ever. Like, oh my God, look how thick this is and it's just all that gooey ready ew i don't want all that i'm just gonna pick this apart and just eat mostly the meat take the meat out and use it with my because some edges don't have meat on it i've got to dip it in this sauce the sauce is pretty good actually get my little toppings mmm that's good. So I had to Google what this corn dough is because I totally forgot the name. But now, I, of course, when I read it, I'm like, oh, yeah, of course. So the masa is what's gross. The corn dough, as you might say. The masa, masa, masa. Not it. Um, Yeah. Like literally I've never had one that just like literally just falls apart like that so easily like it's normally a little bit like that but not like this okay so I don't know what's going on if that's normal for them but it ain't it it ain't it mm. they got their meat down it's just they got to figure out what's going on at least this is pretty big it's pretty filling This is a pretty decently priced place. I mean, it was only $13 for all this. Ew, this is like sticking to my napkin. Oh, heck no. Time to throw the napkin away and then peel off this paper. That's all over my food now. Disgusting. Like melted on. <laughs> Excuse me. 
now the tamale this is honestly like the pork is really good but the the masa is the worst i've ever had which is surprising and i've had like microwave frozen tamales before from like trader joe's Yeah, and the spice level is not bad at all. Like, once you eat it, it's not like the spice doesn't linger. So, I like that. Every time I eat something spicy and it lingers, it just makes me want to eat dessert to like cool my tongue down after. Usually ice cream because, of course, you know, it helps. Big old pork bite. Cheese. So, all this is cheese right here. Perfect for that pork that I have left. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's rare for me to do mukbangs anymore because I've been cooking like every single day and like I almost feel weird now eating out because I'm not used to it anymore and I used to eat out every single day. Sometimes twice a day. I have been eating at home so I'm loving that. Mm. That's good. I don't like smelling like food. I'm glad I didn't open my moon sky roof, whatever. I would have been getting rained on. <gasps> this meal is 7 out of 10. If the tamale was better, if the tamale was like really, really good, it'd probably be like an 8.5 out of 10, but. They messed up. I hope you guys enjoyed this Papusa's Lover mukbang. It was super good for the most part. <laughs> Time for some water. Don't forget to like this video. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know in the comments where I should eat next. Oh my gosh, that big old crow just came flying down at this person <laughs> and don't forget to share this video if you guys would like and subscribe if you're a new watcher so that way you guys can come hang out with me again see this crazy adventure i call life and i hope to see you guys next time bye